when he was asked by the moderator, will you condemn white supremacy? And he fuddled around, didn't say anything. I said, how about the Proud Boys? Joe Biden in New Alexandria tonight condemning President Trump for not explicitly condemning white supremacy and telling the far right Proud Boys to stand down and stand by. Today, the president said he doesn't even know who the Proud Boys are. More on that controversy in a moment. Biden made the comments as part of his train tour through Northeast Ohio and Southwestern PA. Seven stops in all today. KDK political editor John Delano was invited aboard to talk with Biden one on one. It was an old fashioned whistle stop campaign train from Cleveland to Johnstown with stops in Pittsburgh, Greensburg and Latrobe. And I had the chance to ride the train with Vice President Biden. Good to see you again. The Tuesday night debate was still on his mind, along with President Trump's repeated attacks on him. He was going to go be personal, go after my family, to try to rattle me, etc. And uh, he didn't rattle me. He just disappointed me as, as he could go uh, be as... Uh, as sort of embarrassing to the nation as he was. I asked Biden about comments he made at the stop in Pittsburgh, accusing the president of, quote, a trail of broken promises and lies. What did he promise to do? Bring all these factories back. He promised to bring steel back. He promised to, I'm the one that brought uh, General Motors and Chrysler back, their automobile plants, and what happened? I just came out of Ohio and left. Oh, he, in fact, uh, you know, they're gone. As for concerns the president will try to stop the vote count in court if he's losing, Biden had this message. Your votes will be counted, no matter what he says or does. At the end of the day, the votes will be counted, and he will, no matter what he says, he will not be able to stay in office if he loses. No matter what he says, no matter. So don't be intimidated. Vote. Biden's campaign stops here in Westmoreland County were no accident. Donald Trump carried a lot of Democratic votes in this county four years ago, and Biden hopes to win them back this year. In Greensburg, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.